From having to pretend she was on ecstasy to being scared of a horror icon when she was a kid, this is Jenna Ortega revealing movie scenes that terrified her. Her role in The Fallout was scarier than it seemed. In this Megan Park-directed film, Jenna plays the role of a school student, Vada Cavell, who's dealing with insane trauma. At first glance, the movie seems less of a freak show than other projects Jenna has worked on, but as it turns out, despite having a history of working in horror films, the fallout is the movie that scared Jenna the most. That's right, according to Jen, nothing is more terrifying than a film as realistic as this one. In the movie, Vada's struggling with her mental health as she tries to cope with the aftermath of a traumatic school shooting and resorts to using ecstasy. Even though the move was well-received and got Jenna a nomination for Best Breakthrough Artist at the Austin Film Critic Association, the film shooting wasn't all that fun. Jenna admitted that pretending to be on a drug was tricky, and that's what made the filming process tough for her. She had to play a role where she's addicted to something she's never tried, so she took matters into her own hands and tried a bit of method acting. And before you say anything, no, she didn't try the drug, but rather studied its side effects. It was tough, and Jen didn't know how to get into character, because when you're taking a drug like that, you never know what you're going to say next. But there's a reason why the actress is so popular at such a young age. She's mad devoted to all her roles, and so she prepared for this one by doing crazy things in her room. But even all this effort couldn't prep her for this one scene, where she had to walk down the stairs while pretending to be on ecstasy. This was something she hadn't rehearsed, so when the director told her to act it out, she flipped out because she felt terrified. This was the moment she decided she's never going to prepare like that for any role again, because the stress was way too much. But then again, Jenna is used to working super hard for all her roles. Nothing proves this more than the effort that she put in to become the perfect Wednesday Addams, for Tim Burton's adaptation of the character. The show broke Stranger Things' viewership record and made Jen the queen of the teenage horror thriller genre, with a streaming time of over 341 million hours. Ortega won an MTV award for The Rule and also managed to bag a Golden Globe nomination. Fans reacted by congratulating her, saying that all of this was well-deserved because the hard work that it took for her to get into this role was insane. Miss Jen fully transformed into Wednesday, even in real life, and she would walk and talk like her on-screen persona too. On top of this, she also took cello and fencing lessons twice a week. Oh, and she learned German too. If you're wondering what drives this young lady to be so committed, you'd be surprised to know that it's just nervousness. Yep, she confessed that the role was a pretty big deal to her, and she was super anxious about getting it right, which is what put her into the hustle mindset. That paid off big time, and turns out, Jenna's attitude was the reason behind her big break. If you didn't know this already, Jen gave Tim Burton just one short interview over Zoom, and that was that. This meeting was enough to convince the director to cast her in his big show because he was really impressed by her attitude. Even Jenna herself was confident that she'd gotten the part. She talked about how good it felt as soon as the interview ended, knowing that she made a lasting impression. Just one conversation with her proved to Burton that she was the right fit for Wednesday. But it took more than that to convince Ortega, who apparently turned down the role several times. Jenna ignored the email for days because she was scared that doing another TV series would limit her growth, and what she really wanted to do was movies. But what really convinced her to take on the role was her chemistry with Tim, and she didn't want to give up the opportunity of working with a legend like him. Her admiration for Burton made her terrified of messing up her portrayal of Wednesday, and so she broke her back, trying to hit all the right spots. Anxiety related to work isn't new for Miss Jenna. But what's impressive is that despite her anxieties, she's still fully devoted to the horror genre. She's reviving the horror film category by giving us one amazing performance after another. It's mind-blowing because not a lot of stars are drawn to this genre of movies and don't see themselves making a big name there. But that's what sets Jenna apart from the others. She defended the genre, saying that she thinks horror movies are fun and therapeutic. She also explicitly said that the horror genre felt like a second home to her and revealed that the secret ingredient that always attracts people is not her scream, but her very ugly, realistic crying face. She believes that her crying face helps people connect with her character because it seems so genuine. It's pretty impressive that she is so good at sobbing on screen because it's scary to pull off something like that in front of the whole world. 
you have to be really vulnerable, and vulnerability doesn't come easy to Ortega. She didn't like opening up too much in the past, saying that it was the scariest thing for her, which was also the main reason why she doesn't date. She just can't trust someone with the sensitive parts of her. And besides, the actress believes right now it's time for her to focus solely on her career. But the funny thing is, even her job can be emotionally taxing, because when she's shooting for certain projects, she needs to get in touch with her emotions, which doesn't come easy for her. After her Wednesday fame, she tried to open up a little in interviews and on social media, but said that she regretted it instantly, because people would take advantage of her vulnerability and twist things around. Jen also started getting a lot of hate on social media because people accused her of being fake and always putting on a persona. No wonder she doesn't want to share things anymore. But despite her unwillingness to open up about her life, Ortega has quite a few stories to share about her favorite genre. Turns out, horror movies had a huge impact on her career. She's built a niche in the spooky part of the industry, so it's natural that she developed a love for the genre at an early age. But despite her constant fangirling over all the gore, not all her experiences with freaky stuff have been pleasant. She's had her fair share of horror movie scares, and maybe that's why she loves them so much. According to her, these films get the adrenaline pumping in her veins, so it's wild that she actually got to be part of some of the movies that scared her. She mentioned that Insidious was one of the first horror movies she ever saw, and she couldn't get it out of her head. The red demon-faced guy would follow her everywhere, and then she got to be a part of the franchise in 2013. Another one she couldn't stop gushing about was Persona, saying that the thriller gave her chills all over and she'd never seen anything like it before, especially the part where the characters' faces are split apart. Even Anya Taylor-Joy's The Witch had a similar effect, and Jen couldn't stop thinking about it for weeks. So you can tell that horror has really shaped her, right from when she was a kid. In fact, Jenna Ortega used to have nightmares about Chucky. A lot of us can relate to this one, but from what she's told us, this was the first spooky film that scared her so much that she had to run away. The ex-Disney star shared how she really wanted to watch Child's Play with her older siblings but was told it'd be too scary for a little kid. She didn't listen and got a sneaky look at the movie from behind a door, and all she saw was one hand, but it was enough to terrify her enough to make her scream. I guess now we know where the Ortega scream came from. But that wasn't all. Jenna kept having bad dreams about the murderous doll right up until she was 15. But then she went ahead and built a career in the very same part of the industry. Talk about embracing your fears, right? So there you have it, from being scared of a horror icon when she was a kid to having to pretend she was on ecstasy. That's Jenna Ortega revealing movie scenes that terrified her.